build a handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Today we're looking at a dryer. This is a Crosley. There are Gibsons, Whirlpools, and Kenmores with basically the same design. They're like Buicks and Chevys and Cadillacs. They basically have similar designs. So this one has the lint filter inside. And so this is the lint filter. It goes inside there. And so typically I've seen these people get rid of them because they don't heat very well. It's kind of a smaller size. And so basically they never clean out the filters. That's one of the problems. And if we look back inside here, you can see there's lint built up inside here. Now this would cause a problem. It would make it take too long to dry hours. And since this is a 110 dryer, I've seen these exact same frame in 220 models. And so particularly if you have a 110 dryer, then uh, it's going to take a long time to dry. That's why a lot of people don't like them because they'll build up lint inside and take a long time to dry. So we're going to clean this one out here pretty thoroughly. It's coming out pretty easy with my hand right now. I'm going to take it apart and clean it out inside. Okay, so once we have the back off, first you want to pull the back off. And so there's these screws here that are on the back. And then this top piece here just pushes forward and comes up. And so now we have the dryer exposed. The reason why we have to take that top off is because um, in order to pull the drum out, I don't know if we actually need to do this, but in order to pull the drum out, and if you're putting a belt on, these screws here on the sides have to be removed. And these screws here on the sides have to be removed so you can pull this open, otherwise the barrel won't slide out. So we may not need to do that. We may, we're just going to take this cowl off back here and clean that out real good. And if we look at the wires, we can see that all the wires look intact. There's no burnt marks anywhere, which is good. Look at the timer, and the timer wires all look good. So uh, this machine is actually a working machine. It just has uh, lint built up. And look what we found here. Bingo, jackpot. Anyway, um, so let's take this cowl off and see what it looks like inside there. Okay, so we have the cowl off. And you have to be careful with wires if you're going to leave them connected. This one is not too bad. Um, it's going to be fairly easy. We can use compressed air or we can use a brush. It's clean in here. Uh, no, no coins or anything. A lot of times, if you have noise in your uh, in your dryer, there could be a coin that has dropped down through that uh, whatever the cow shoot, and it's lodged in here. It cause your this fan could make a horrible noise, and or it can block the fan from moving, and that would cause a problem. So yeah. Um, so this one here, we can uh, clean the lint out and recondition it and should be good. And this one's, I'm going to have to get a brush in there because what happens is back behind there, um, sometimes I'll spray this out with soap and water and just spray it out real good with and uh, flush that whole system. But this one's fairly clean. Anyway, yep. 
a little service info for you in case your machine is not heating well. It requires you to replace uh, both thermostats, I think, on this. So this one has got one has there's no high limit fuse on this one it's just a thermostat okay so we got it pretty well cleaned out um what you want to make sure, make sure that it's cleaned out down inside there is the main part. You see this part here, but you don't see this part down here. So you got to look down here and make sure it's kind of all cleaned down in there. And then just assemble in reverse order.